covering music-related content of all genres and the filters through Eastern Texas, we want you. Come and talk to me from Texarkana down to the coast, Dallas down to Houston, and everything in between. We are ETX Rocks! Hello, everybody. It is D Scripps here with another great episode of the ETX Rock Show. Uh, we have a great surprise for y'all today. We got three awesome bands. We have uh, Stone Mages. We have uh, sorry, Passion for Vengeance. And we have Victims of Sanity. So if y'all could all introduce yourselves and let us know what band you're in. And What's up? I'm Luke Farmer. I'm with Stone Mages. Hey, Sonia Tyner, Passion for Vengeance. Marie Russell, Passion for Vengeance. James Bennett, Victims of Sanity. Trevor Newsom, being less. So I understand y'all have an amazing concert coming up, The Clicks Live. Would y'all like to talk about that song? Absolutely. CD release party, right, Marie? That's right. We're excited. We're stoked. Especially it's going to be at Clicks Live. And we have a great lineup coming in with us, and we'll let them talk some more with you. But we are so grateful for this, and we've been working on this for a long time. Tell us about the venue. Definitely been a passion of us. So tell us about the venue where y'all are performing at. Oh, gosh. Clicks Live, place to be. Had some national acts there. We're very honored to take the stage with uh, these wonderful bands. Um, super stoked about it, as Marie has said before. It's just great to be able to get your live originals out there. It's all about writing from the heart right. and supporting live music and local live music. Our album is called Shadows, and uh, it's a very touching song that the song is, is about the, the depression, that the shadows that we are sometimes in, and people out there need help with depression, and this song is solely stoked on that because we, we felt that a part of our passion in this album. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little more about Passion for Avengers. How did y'all come together and, you know, what started the band? Everything? Marie, you want to start with that one? Sure. <laughs> uh, the band started in July of 2015. I had the idea for this passion a couple of years ago. I talked to a friend of mine who I was in another band with, and I said, you know, let's get this uh, project started. I want to call it Passion for Vengeance. And uh, so here we are. Started July 2015, and here we are running strong over a year now. Got an album out already, and we are excited. <laughs> Super psyched. <laughs> so I think it's very unique that y'all have, you know, you're led by pretty much it's a female, you know, which is awesome. <laughs> yeah. so, so how did that come about? What You know, what made that idea come up? Um, well, as you know, in bands, there's sometimes there's lineup changes, and we mm -hmm. can't always control that. And uh, so uh, when Marie uh, needed a guitar player, I just kind of was jokingly saying, hey, I'll be your guitar player. And, uh, <laughs> oh, you hey, you be careful it. what you wish for sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I uh, was able to come in and, and uh, take up where the other guys left off, thankfully. Mm -hmm. Doing my best, trying to... Was this over yeah. breakfast after 2 a.m.? <laughs> I'm just yeah. curious. It, 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 it kind of sounds like... We've had a lot of those conversations <laughs> in those morning times like that, it seems like. Yeah, yeah, but super, super excited to be able to be in this band. And well, you know, no good decision can come after midnight, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> For the best. For the yeah. best. So, who's headlining the show? So, who's headlining the show? Well, the headline for our show is going to be Victims of Sanity. Woo! Who we and have with so us. so grateful to have them. With Truman Syndrome and Stone Mages will be opening up. Yes. And so we're so grateful to have them on this bill because uh, they have helped a lot of bands in the forefront mm -hmm. of East Texas. And so has East Texas Music. And we're so grateful to have everybody with us, joining in with us on this. And we have Victims of Sanity with us, uh, Trevor and James. What's up? What's happening? So how did y'all come about? You know, what got y'all started and what's y'all's backgrounds? Um, well, I think it was uh, 2010. It was uh, me and a buddy of mine. Uh, he played drums. I was playing guitar. And we just started doing parties, you know, hanging out with people. Right, right. Just come and kick some music around, you know, whatever. And then, you know, we went to a, a, a get-together old boy, uh, Mineola had. And uh, that's when we met Jeremiah. And he's J-Man. Like, yeah, J-Man. He's like, I got some, you know, uh, equipment in my house. Let's go jam. And, then, mm -hmm. you know, there's just three of us hanging out. And it just, it just grew from that. Just from writing whatever, you know, just kicking songs. If you guys out there want to know more about Victims of Sanity, episode five, y'all. It's on YouTube and Podbean.com. ETXRocks.Podbean.com. Episode five, VOS. 
tolerable rock, eating receipts. You know how it is. Trevor's crazy. James believes the earth is flat. But we won't go there. <laughs> and since you brought it up. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. The earth is flat. Yeah. <laughs> Stone Ages. And uh, also we have with us today is Luke from Stone Mages. What's up, man? So tell us a little bit about y'all's background, how y'all came about. And it pretty much started with just me, Tanner, and Aaron, friends in high school, jamming and shit. We went to join the Navy afterwards. So it's been four years, really didn't do much. That's a rock story. Got back together whenever that was, 2015. So we've only been playing for about a year now, jamming here and there all over East Texas, Texarkana. Places like that. Big thanks to James for finally getting us in the clicks. Been trying yeah, to get in there for a while now, so this will be our first time. Mm-hmm. So how does it feel well to the? Well deserved too, my friend. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well Thank deserved. You. I'm Woo. a huge fan of <laughs> yeah. Stone Ages. Yeah. So how does it feel to get to be in this lineup, you know, with all these bands and you know? No, we're appreciating all of it, man. We're just ready to play. That's what it's all about. Oh yeah. So the event is Saturday, November 19th, guys. It is probably going to be the coolest event this year y'all need to come check it out it's going to be fantastic um and if people haven't been to clicks before it's in it's in tyler texas i don't have the exact address well they can go they can go to the clicks live facebook page but since you guys are kind of the the it's a great venue yeah victims of sanity is kind of the the veterans of this of this lineup i think uh so james man i'd love to hear you tell us more about clicks live and and what they offer. I know they have some of the best sound engineers with uh, David Wilson out oh, there yeah. and uh, Jack on lights. I mean, Jack it's, it's amazing out there. So tell us more about it's, it. It's a very professional staff, and they, I mean, they are all about the music and they bring the best bands. And they treat you right. Texas. They treat you right. You right. know what I mean? If you've yeah. got problems with levels, or they, they're okay, man, let's fix it. Not this up. Hurry up and play type. Yeah. yeah. Right. And what I think I love the most about Clicks Live is they have that balance. You know, it's like, you know, we're going to bring in this national act. But we're not all about that. It's about local for Clicks Live. And that's what I love about the whole concept. It's like, okay, yeah, we love to have Trapped out here. We love to have um, Scott Stapp and Ace Freely. But, um, yeah, we're going to do these Victims of Sanity shows and Panic Device and Passion for Vengeance, Stone yeah. Mages. They're shining a light on local metal. And But, you know, it's not just about that national thing. And it's kind of like what we do here on the show. Mm-hmm. The idea is to bring in some folks that are a little more well-known, so that way the people that aren't well-known and that are on the show are risen up a little bit higher. That's why I'm glad they always put a local on with a national. Absolutely. You get a, a two-way out of it. Fans mm, that's right. see the national, but then whoever came to see a national that doesn't even know about you all of a sudden sees you. Yeah. Yeah, we've got to open up for several nationals, right. thankfully, and and after the show, you know, you'll have someone come up and they're like, hey, where are y'all from? And we're like, we're right, right here. here. No yes. way. Huh? No and way. Like, no, yeah. Way. Yeah. You know? Well, it's like, you know, uh, the, yeah. the last time I was at Clicks Live was for one of y'all's show opening up for Rocket Queen, mm-hmm. and um, you know it was it was you guys, it was Panic Device, and ever, ever since December, I mean I love all of those bands. I already knew about y'all, huge fans of Rocket Queen, um, but you know Rocket Queen comes back off of being on the road, and I mean you guys had the, the, all three bands that started up had that crowd so pumped up and ready for yeah. that national act, even though they're local as well. That show was. It's better than a lot of, was better, I thought, than a lot of nationals. Had I completely been. agree with you. I mean, you know, there wasn't a place to stand in there. You know, I, I was lucky to have a seat. Uh, I, I think there's like six seats in place five. I had one of them because I'm really fat. Yes, I am. <laughs> but so I got there probably like six hours before the music just so I wouldn't have to stand all night and Reserve. be old. Yeah, Boston Chris so right here. Beers. You don't even have to put a sign there because I'm already sitting there. You only know? <laughs> get to two clicks with yeah. no seating, but yeah. there, are, there are pool tables everywhere. That's right. And, and you can play pool and listen to live bands. And the pool and tables are there. seating option too. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> Especially later in the night. Yeah, especially when we're right there next to the stage. So. Um, I, I know a huge part of this is the CD release party for Passion for Vengeance. You guys have been around since, what did you say, July? July of 2015. So about a year and a half. Yes. And so is this y'all's first album? 
Yes, in our first album, and Mike Kennedy is our drummer. He couldn't make it today, but I want to give a shout out to him because he's been amazing in this whole process. Right. Mm -hmm. So Mike Kennedy, shout out to you. Yeah. So you guys have to be super stoked about this CD, right? We are. Yeah. We are excited. Yep. A lot of heart and soul. A lot of heart and soul. A lot of work. A lot of work. Oh, yeah. We put time. it together. Yeah, we put it together faster than we thought it would come together. We got two more that we're going to do yep. at the show that's going to go on the next album. Brand new songs. So, uh, one thing I want to know is uh, who who came up with the lineup for you know this event and Marie. You know, and what? Yeah, Marie. And you know what made you I, want to I pick? I actually them? added Stone Mages to it because I've been wanting to play a show mm -hmm. with them at Clicks ever since I first saw them. Okay. And, and, and finally, <laughs> yeah. and finally yeah. they were available, you know, to open up the show. But man, they are such a killer. We were band. like, please, you, you bro. Wanna... He was like, man, I don't know. Really. <laughs> 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 but they are so awesome. Yeah. You don't want to miss the first show to the last, and, and we haven't talked about Truman Syndrome enough because oh, yeah. they weren't able to be here. But Syndrome. they're finishing out the night. They they are uh, they are phenomenal. I know we. Man, you got that word right, man. Yeah. I'm so proud yeah. of you. <laughs> <laughs> it took me six months to learn how to say that word. Oh, okay. <laughs> phenomenal. I got it. Nice. Got it, dude. And Truman Syndrome is. And no, they are. Yeah. JC. Uh, you know. That's kind of a running joke on the show. For a long time, I couldn't say Phenom. I kept saying Phenom. Phenom. <laughs> so I was getting phenom. backlash from our audience saying, man, it's Phenom. It's like, not Phenom. Like advertisements. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they were like, say Phenomenal. And I was like, uh, I can't do Phenom. I, how can I do that one? <laughs> so now every time somebody uses the word Phenomenal, I'm like, dude, you got it. That's phenomenal. <laughs> yes. That's a great So, word. I mean, tell us more about Truman Syndrome. I know they couldn't be here today, but... Um, I know they're also local as well, right? Oh yeah, they're local and and, and really well known. They've been around a while. Mm -hmm. They had a little breakup and got back together, I guess, about a year ago. And uh, unfortunately, they couldn't be here. But JC, is amazing. <laughs> he's an amazing front man, and we're all fans of yes, of JC. Yes, and, yes. And yeah. You'd be missing out if you missed them at the end of the show, and you'd be missing out if you missed the first act, because they will blow your mind. And that's exactly how every lineup is at Clicks. Yeah. And, uh, and for it's... those who don't know, uh, Truman Syndrome was Rock Band of the Year at the ETX Music Awards. Oh. 2013, okay. that's right. Wow. Yeah. Absolutely. So we have Stone Mages, Truman Syndrome, Passion for Vengeance, Victims of Sanity. This is a show y'all don't want to miss out on. So, Victims of Sanity, you know, I, I've got you guys a CD. I've had it for a while. I love the album. Um, uh, Trevor, you know, we talk about it all the time. It's one of my favorite CDs. Um, do we have more coming? We, we do have some new music in the works, and it will eventually be laid down on an album. We're finishing up two new ones that we're hoping to... Maybe unveil one of them or whatever. Yeah, maybe Saturday. one. Is the, it's up to him. Is, is the name of the album going to be Water Doesn't Curve? <laughs> it could be. Anything it, could be. <laughs> it could be. It could be. You never know. Don't push. I've been trying to get James Bennett on a recording for a long time. <laughs> Just to go back and forth with him. And he's trying so hard not to go uh, off on him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're, we're going to have a show where, uh, where James Bennett and Noah Box are debating the curvature of the earth. Yeah. I would. I would, Everything. I would I would urge everyone to research flat earth and disprove it and prove me wrong. Is all I can say, please. He's, he's passionate for it. And it's not my idea. The whole ball didn't even exist until 500 years ago. So before that, it was always flat. <laughs> 500 years to eternity ain't really that much. This and is another show, James. As much deception that exists in the world today, you know. I got him going. You can't disregard anything yeah, these can. days. No, you can't. That's true. Trump, Donald Trump is president. Yeah, Trump exactly. Does. You know what I'm saying? If he wasn't, Hillary would be. <laughs> right. It's all, it's all bad. Oh, boy. We, we went flat earth and religion in one sentence. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it's all good. We're looking all together to Yeah. We didn't even get our religion. religion. <laughs> yeah. No, we're not going to religion today. No. If that's not rock and roll, I don't know what is. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> So we're here with Luke is speaking for Stone Mages. So do y'all have anything musically that we can look forward to coming up? Or? We have an album out, actually. We released on Distro Kid, so you can find it online everywhere from iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, everywhere online, basically. Right. 
And you guys out there, you need to show Stone Mages some love on Facebook. Oh, uh, yeah. For sure. Uh, these guys are unbelievable musicians and showmen. I mean, and that's what I love about the metal scene in East Texas. So you go to a show and it, it's, I mean, the front men are front men. It's like what you grew up listening to as a kid. Uh, the, like from Walter Lee, James Bennett, you know, uh, um, Dustin from Panic Device. I mean, they're just showmen, you know, and that's what I love about the scene. And it's in you guys as well. Um, so show all of these guys some love, but especially Stone Mages, because, I mean, for the amount of talent they have, to only have 200 likes on Facebook is a crime. It mm -hmm. is. Um, yep. So show them some love. I did today. I've been checking them out all week on YouTube and on their page. It's unbelievable stuff. And November 19th, you guys can come out and see for yourself. If you don't believe me, call me a liar if you want, but go to Clicks Live and try to try to prove me wrong. Clicks Live! Yeah. Woo! Woo! And we will be back uh, after this commercial break. This is Katie Kennedy, the owner of the Liberty Bell, located in historic downtown Nacogdoches. We would like to invite you to come on down for our live music, our extensive menu, including our brunch menu, available on the weekends, and excellent service. We're open every day of the week except for Monday. We've got live music every day and drink specials. So we'd love to see you in Nacogdoches. Come on down. Tell them Katie sent you. And we are back. <laughs> and we have Passion for Vengeance. We have Stone Mages. We have Victims of Sanity. So this next segment we like to call Rapid Fire. And basically we ask a lot of ridiculous questions. Y'all get to pick pretty much out of the two. And we usually time it, but since there's a bunch of y'all, we're going to let y'all slide this time. That's not true. Y'all have 90 seconds to answer. And if you don't, then we're all going to fall off the edge of the earth. Yeah. There is no edge. It's infinite. I think it should go to the lead singers. Yeah. Are we going to do lead singers? Okay, so give it to Marie. I think Marie should have this one. Okay. And Luke and James. So James Bennett, Luke. And Marie, this is rapid fire. Are y'all ready? Ready, yo. Set the imaginary timer, Boston. Fight! Blam! <laughs> yeah. So, would y'all rather have more time or more money? Money. Time. Um, I, I'll just take what I'm given. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese food or Mexican food? Chinese. Mexican food Man. all the way. Melted cheese. You can't go wrong either way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Black Sabbath or ACDC? Black Sabbath. <laughs> Definitely would probably just want to think to myself. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a Mr. politician? Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. You running for office, James? He don't answer questions. Would you rather... Would you rather only be able to whisper or only be able to shout? Man, shout. <laughs> You know, yeah. Y'all are rockers, so shouting. Yeah. I think yeah. I would want to whisper, yeah. so maybe people would listen. Just <laughs> yeah. whispering on stage. Like <laughs> would you rather eat poison ivy or a handful of bumblebees? Ooh. Ooh. Man. Those are all the insurance. I'm going to eat poison yeah. ivy because I'm not allergic to it. Do so bees ah. taste like honey? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> nice. So, if you each had one song to listen to for the rest of your life, what song would that be? Ooh, wow. Still have a new Scorpions. I'm gonna say Turn Back Time by Cher. Wow. <laughs> Holy cow. My whole image man. has been crushed. Luke? Focus let's now. do uh, some Pantera, man. Uh, so many great ones. Cemetery Gate. Nah. <laughs> Revolution is my name. There you go. Greatness. So, would you rather always get first dibs or the last laugh? Last laugh. Yeah, last first laugh. First dibs. First dibs. <laughs> would you always? Would you rather always lose or never play? I would rather always lose. No shame in losing. Yeah, I'm right. playing. As long as you I'll give it hell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Give it hell to the end. Yep. Would you rather be born with an elephant trunk or have a giraffe neck? <laughs> well, since I have an elephant trunk. <laughs> that is open for debate. Where is this trunk located? Not coming in. Is that why you use a megaphone? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So the giraffe neck is so you can reach the elephant. I can't even get that. <laughs> they go hand in hand. Yeah. 
Would you rather have a missing finger or an extra toe? Let's go with an extra toe. Extra yeah, toe. Extra toe. Yeah. Extra toe yeah. That's what I'm saying. Can I have an extra finger and no toes? One hand like that. Well, that has been rapid fire. Um, I'm pretty sure y'all got that under 90 seconds. I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. Who's counting? Yeah, right. There is no edge of the earth. Check, check the imaginary clock. There is not. It's infinite. It's infinite. <laughs> So that was Rapid Fire, everybody. This has been a great interview. We've had Passion for Vengeance, Stone Mages, Victims of Sanity. We're missing uh, Truman Syndrome. We're missing yeah. Truman Syndrome. Cool. Wish they could have been here. So what's the order going to be on Saturday? Tell people why they should come. Because if you get there at 9 o'clock, you'll get to see Stone Mages, yep. who's going to... Oh, hopefully door. lead a little leave a little stage for Passion for Vengeance <laughs> who at the, end, after, at the end of their set they're going to have their CD for sale and you'll have to go buy mm. and then uh, and then Victims of Sanity will come on after Passion for Vengeance and Truman Syndrome will close out the night and how much is it to get in? five bucks dude that's five bucks that's pocket change Heck yeah. pocket five dollars five dollars <laughs> So if, you buy, if you buy all all the bands one shot of whiskey when you come in the door to share between themselves, <laughs> yeah. you're, now you're you can, pandering. You can listen. <laughs> Politicking and now pandering. So fifty bucks to get in is what he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> But it's one shot to share. I said five bucks. Oh, you know? I was thinking five shots. One shot to share is only five bucks, you know. So you can buy one shot for four bands, you know, that have worked. But that's what four or five members of band. Yeah, yeah. We will get just a little. That's bit a out. lot of math for Sunday, James. I know. See, you could either hit up the dollar menu at McDonald's for five bucks and get unhealthy, or go sweat it out at a rock show yeah. for five dollars. Yeah. And let me tell you something too. I've been at one of these shows before, and one thing you will leave there is tired, because it is energy. It is energy. It is energy. Every time I've been to Clicks Live, didn't matter who the bands were. Clicks Live is all about putting on an energetic show, um, always. So that is one thing I can guarantee every single person out there. If you go on Saturday, November nineteenth. At nine o'clock, four or five dollars, you will leave there tired. I at promise. At one in the morning, you will go home rested and That's sleep right. well. And you will hit up a McDonald's or a <laughs> Denny's or. And well, then we don't care. Water <laughs> but you know, if you do hit up a Denny's that night, do not be surprised if you end up playing guitar in a metal band by the end of the night, right, Tanya? <laughs> Got that right. <laughs> you never know what's coming your way. Can we expect mosh pits for the mosh pitters out there? Um, I think really the only mosh band playing is going to be Stone Major, so if you like to mosh, make sure you get there. Get there on time to early. mosh it out. We have had moshes, you know, in one song of ours, and, and <laughs> but it happen. doesn't happen all the time, so. <laughs> Dude, I went to a Christian rock concert, right? Not expecting a mosh, but never been in one. Well, I'm, you know, standing there enjoying it. And out of nowhere, I get knocked in the face. And I'm standing in the middle of a well, mosh. Christian for you, right. man. Praise <laughs> right. Jesus. Punching for Jesus. They were seeing yeah. that he was telling you Jesus. There's the new metal band name, Punches for Jesus. Punches yeah. for Jesus. <laughs> Live next week at Clicks. Oh. Punches for Jesus. <laughs> So we're going to talk about Passions of Vengeance, new CD, Shadows. You know, how many songs are on there? You know, what can we expect from the album and how much is it and where can we get it at? It's going to be $10 for okay. the CD. Okay. Uh, there's six songs on it. And you can get it, you know, from the CD release party. You can get in touch with us personally. And we'll also be setting up a website where people can order it as well if they'd like to. All right. Yes. Yep. So, so is it going to be like on iTunes or anything like that? Yes, or? we'd like to do that, yes. Okay. So this is for everybody. Uh, where can people find you on Facebook or social media wise, and how can they listen to your music? So Mages, we pretty much just got the Facebook page going right now. But as far as our music, like I said, we got iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, and everywhere you can find us. We're on YouTube, all that. You can listen to us on Spotify if you don't want to pay for it. <laughs> you Local musicians. That's Don't be that Spotify guy. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's all of our stuff, man. Yep. You can find us, uh, Passion for Vengeance. We are on Facebook, and we do have uh, Reverb Nation. We're working on that website as well. You know how it's ever evolving. And we're just going to hammer it. Just throw it out there. Come get it. Uh, we'll mail it to you. Mike Lacey said he'd volunteer to come to your house. <laughs> <laughs> that may not necessarily be a good thing. He can work on anything that's broken while he's there. 
That's right, because that way, because he's sitting over there right now watching us, we can say that and get away with it. <laughs> uh, you can find Victims of Sanity on Facebook, and you can find uh, VictimsofSanity.com. Uh, got the online store there, mm-hmm. Reverb Nation, things like that. Just, you know. And they also have a Twitter. Flatearth.com. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a dot org. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. Dot gov. I would like to, I'd like to de- <laughs> <laughs> deter, detour <laughs> everybody away from Flat Earth Society. Flat Earth Society is a government shill organization that tries to dummy the, the reality concept of Flat Earth. So don't go to Flat Earth Society. I cannot wait to see the tags on this episode. <laughs> it's going to be great. Flat Earth is bogus. And also, don't forget Truman Syndrome. I believe they have a Facebook page. Yes. Oh, yes. You can find them on YouTube. So y'all check them out. They're also going to be there. They couldn't be here today, but guarantee they're going to put on a good show. This has been another great episode of the ETX Rock Show. Remember to support your local music and ETX Rock! We are... E-T-X Rocks!